Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Software Automation Experience. In today's video, I am going to explain you about how to read a JMeter research file which got generated as part of pipelines run. So if you have integrated JMeter test routes as your as part of your pipeline runs, you want to see the results and uh, to check if there is any failures and what is what has caused the failures and all right so in order to debug in order to find out the root cause of the failure of pipeline we need to uh, <coughs> yeah we need to check those results in a jmeter so how to check that so directly uh, reading this uh, uh, jmeter file will not help us uh, understand what has happened here okay so uh, to just check it and make it more simple uh, so this is the video guys so for that what you can go do is so as uh, you can go to your pipeline machine wherever uh, this test tool test tool has got executed and the file got generated the results file you can copy the, that dot jtl file from that uh, machine to your local uh, machine where uh, you have uh, jmeter installed and uh, in any of the folder you can keep and from there you just uh, launch from the same folder you launch the jmeter tool and uh, then yeah make sure uh, guys this uh, file should be should have the extension as dot jtl okay then only jmeter can uh, uh, recognize it okay so for that uh, launch the jmeter from that folder and in the test plan just add a listener called view results tree so post adding the listener then load that file the same detail file from the file name by clicking on the browse button okay so on clicking on browse button you will uh, just go to the same folder then you can load that file and <coughs> as you can see so this is uh, how uh, we used to see the results in jmeter after jmeter run right so yeah in the pipeline uh, we could have run the jmeter from command line so we will we'll not be able to see all the results and we will be able to see the results by just reporting as by just uh, displaying it, uh, it as a report but we will not know why each and every test like why the test case has failed and where it has gone wrong to check those things we can just uh, click on these things and come expand it and see if uh, the ip address has passed properly if the port of the service has passed properly and uh, other variable values have gone properly and from the request address we can check if any token we had to pass if it has passed or not and in the assertions if it has passed or not we can check those things so to do that we need to uh, load that jtl file in this way right so yeah so that's all uh, means this is how to uh, load that jtl file which got in the part of pipeline runs Okay, so instead of uh, going it and reading that file in a notepad plus plus and that would make very difficult to uh, understand where it has gone from. Okay, so this way we can uh, uh, open the file and uh, quickly we can say where is the failure and what is the root cause, root cause of the failure. So that's all from this video guys. Uh, if you like it, please uh, subscribe to my channel software automation experience and uh, stay tuned for next videos thank you